Hey, in this video, we're gonna talk about the side panels that actually came with our Sylvan Sport Go camper when we bought it. The previous owners included that in the sale. We've had several people ask us questions about it when, from previous videos and photos of our Go. So we thought it would be uh, great to just go ahead and kind of explain those and where they came from and where you can find the instructions for them as well. So let's check it out. All right, hey, thanks for watching this video. I'm Scott. I'm Sherry. And we are the, the coolest, coolest campers, campers ever. ever. And like we always say, we just have the coolest camper in a Sylvan Sport Go. So, so in this video, um, this will be sort of like the steps video that, that I've done. Uh, when we bought this camper, gosh, not even six months ago, um, it came with the step and the side panels. And I found on the Sylvan Sport Owners Group in the files section, which is a great resource if you're not there already yet, um, I found the instructions on how to make these. And uh, the, the people we bought this camper from, super cool people, they were very nice. And we enjoyed meeting them and talking to them. Uh, but we thought they made these things. Yeah, but we, she, she was super resourceful. You could just tell she had done all this stuff for the camper and how they camp. So we saw these steps and the panels and we thought, dang, this woman, she's like figured it out. But we did actually find where she got all of that information. Yes. But she also, as you probably have noticed, made, went to the trouble to paint them in the Sylvan Go color right. green. And so it all matches. And so we're super appreciative of that. But we thought we would uh, pass it on and share how you can get those things as well. And interesting enough, the, uh, the, the exact paint color is in the instructions on how to make these. So... So if you go to these instructions, we'll drop a link in the description. You'll have everything you need to know about how to make these side panels and the back panel. I didn't make them, but it literally looks super easy. Yeah, just some plywood, some one by fours it almost looks like. So yep. and uh, I, and not I think, too difficult. I think in the instructions it says it's like a four by eight panel. And a lot of places like a Home Depot uh, will will cut those for you. So if you went in with the instructions, you could probably even get those big pieces cut the way you needed them to. But um, what are the advantages of having the side panel? Um, it basically just kind of covers up everything that you're hauling when you're going camping. It keeps uh, people from seeing what's in there and it keeps people from being able to reach in. Uh, I've, I'm dropping some video in now of me trying to put my hand in and you can see that I can get my hand in there, but I can't pretty much get anything out. In fact, I put our new single burner camping stove on top of one of these yellow, black and yellow boxes, thinking that, okay, if somebody wants to get that, it's right on top and there's no way I'd be able to get that out, so. Yeah, and that's when you have the camper lowered to just like full utility trailer position. If you have it raised, like we have in the past where our electric bikes and things are in there, um, obviously you could reach in. But another advantage of the side panels is just when you're driving in the rain, snow, muddy water, whatever you're driving in, the splashing isn't going to just completely douse all of your stuff. So it should also kind of provide a little bit of protection for your gear. All right, so one of the things that I don't really like about this back panel especially, this is what it looks like from the outside. This is what it looks like from the inside. Pretty much the same, except you've got the brackets in here. You're fine. I should not block your face, but you know, uh, <laughs> we're not cutting this out. <clears throat> anyway, here's the little eye hooks that I was talking about, and I like it. It's just a real basic and doesn't stay in place, but it's really kind of flimsy too. So it it does feel like it could break if I did this too much. So so don't do that. I'm so don't do that. <laughs> Correct. I might at some point put a a brace along here to kind of make this a little more solid, and again. I'd like to figure out a way to attach this to the side panels. Kind of some type of hitch pin that, you know, the pin just kind of, you have a pin on here and the hole on the other side and it just fixed into it. I don't know. I'm not mechanical. Sherry's going to work on this. <laughs> Sherry's going to say, 
If you have ideas for how you think that these could go better together, once you've seen like all the pictures of it as it goes together, um, drop it in the comments for us. We would love to hear what you have to say. If you've got some ingenious idea, we'll even give you credit on the thread if we put, if we post it and let people know that they can improve the back panel of their, their go panels. And we'll, we'll give you credit for your invention. Exactly. Yeah. Any ideas you have would be more than welcome. And we'll... the other thing I do want to mention though, even though this is kind of flimsy and I don't like the hooks for the, attaching it when this is in place, the standard step from the go comes up and fits in this space. So it pretty much holds this in place. And then you have the strap that goes around the go step. So this really isn't going anywhere unless your step comes off or your strap breaks. So even though it's flimsy, it pretty much stays in place. Uh, but I think it would make the whole system a little bit more solid if if there was a better way to attach this back panel. So if all of the, those things happen while you're on the road, you're having bigger problems than whether or not your back panel has yes, <laughs> the good, right kind of fastening. System. And good luck to you. Yes. Um, <laughs> May the odds be ever in your favor. Right. So I think that'll about wrap it up for this video. Anything else you want to add? I think that's it. Let us know if you have any ideas on this one. We would love your help. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate the subscribers we have and the number of views we've gotten in such a short amount of time. It's, it's really exciting for us to know that maybe these videos are helping somebody. So any questions you have on the go or about any of the accessories that we've talked about before, please let us know and we'd be happy to make another video and tell you more about it. But thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. See you next time.